Hey, are you Wendy? Hey, that's me. Wanna walk around Taylor's Falls with me today? Let's do it, it's awesome. I'm a comedian and a photographer, and I came here for a comedy show uh, maybe six years ago, and I couldn't believe how gorgeous it was just outside of Minneapolis, because I'm always based in Minneapolis. And then I swiped right on Tinder <laughs> for a guy who lived over here, and was like, if you swipe right, I can go get coffee with you every day. So I moved from the cities, and I love it. How did you get started in stand-up? So I moved to Minnesota. I lived in LA and New York as a photographer. That's my first job. And lots of people would tell me all the time that I was funny, and I was like, y'all are crazy. Never <laughs> even years want to do that. Then I moved to Minnesota and no one would talk to me. Mm. Like no one would be my friend. Really? Oh my gosh, well, they were warm but not friendly. Yep. They would say like, oh, what do you do this weekend? But not come do something with me this yeah. weekend. So I went to Acme and did the open mic mm -hmm. night. First time I got off stage, this lady offered me $250 to what? do comedy at her party that weekend. Wow. Which is a horrible idea, don't ever do it. <laughs> of course I did it. Yeah. And then I was hooked. I have a monthly show called Day Drinking with Mom at Mall of America's House oh, of Comedy. Cool and I headline kind of all over the place. So you do that in addition to photography, so how do you manage both of those? That's a really good question, and I'm a single mom, so. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes not very well. Usually there's, seen, there's seasons to everything, gotcha. so. And the summer is really big with people photographing outside, mm. but comedy, there's not a lot of crowds, because oh, who wants yeah. to go inside in the summer? True. Winter really ramps up for yep. comedy, and that's when photography kind of takes a step back and I usually stay in my studio in St. Paul. A lot of times people feel like women can't be funny and it's just Ooh. men. And so sometimes you get people in the audience who go, oh, I don't know if this girl's gonna make me laugh. So I've recently yeah. started calling out, usually older white men that are sitting uh, here like this, yeah. like make me laugh. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I, but here's the goal. You've spent entertainment mm -hmm. dollars on coming to do stand-up. Mm -hmm. I don't wanna make you not wanna spend money on stand-up. Yeah. I try to be as friendly and nice as possible when people come to stand-up shows because I want you to come back and see stand-up again. And I like that it makes people happy. That's what I know is they love stand-up yes. and they don't know where to see it. Yes. So in Minneapolis, every single night of the week mm -hmm. is stand-up comedy. Wow. Where at? Like, Everywhere. where should we go? So, like, so if you go to, I think it's um, openmikemn.com, my friend Mike Brody runs it, or you just Google it. Mm -hmm. The Monday Night Comedy Show is there at Spring Street in Northeast. Uh, Acme does their open mic on okay. Tuesday, so does House of Comedy. House of Comedy has shows Tuesday through Sunday, so does Acme, but there's also a million other places you can see. Can Can Wonderland Ooh, has some, if you want to see like cool indie yeah. shows. Um, Comedy Corner Underground, it's called CCU, is in five corners near the U, and it's a comedian run club, and they have shows all the time, and they're fantastic. Wow. Also, the um, Brave New Workshop has yes, shows. Yes, I've heard of that one, yeah. And that's improv. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, do you ever do improv at all, or is it mostly just stand-up? So here's the weird thing. People pay to do stand-up, and a lot of times mm. you have to pay to learn improv. Gotcha. So I kind of never took classes, because I'm a single mom and have to make all the money. <laughs> but uh, I do a lot of improv, and you learn it after a while. Yeah. But it's, I admire it. When it's good, it's amazing, like yeah. Wayne Brady. Checking your intentions is always really important. Yeah. Like, what is the object of this joke? So, yeah. a joke always has a, a person or a thing that you're making fun of, mm -hmm. and you want to make sure to not do a thing called punching down. Mm. Punching down is when you're making fun of someone who's already having a worse time yep. of it than you are, and that's never a good idea. It's never a good look. I also think you can look at a crowd and mm -hmm. kind of see who's into being made fun of and yeah. how far you're going. Also, I was bullied in school. Almost all comedians yes. were bullied. Oh, I was gonna say, a lot of, it comes from trauma, I read about that. Totally. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they say uh, humor is pain plus time. Yes. I find that to be 100% true. I've never met a comedian that didn't have something traumatic happen. Yeah. Because you overdevelop a sense mm. of humor as a response true. to handling pain. And um, almost everybody has something. If you can Do you think that people have an, a natural ability to be funny or can people develop it? I think you can absolutely develop it. I think some people don't realize they're funny. Mm. A lot of times, actually I'm having this argument with some of my best friends. <laughs> he doesn't think he's funny at all. And I think he's hilarious mm. because his take is so dry yes. and so acidic that it's, it's I'm way forgiving of everybody. <laughs> like, I'm way, I like everyone. Yes. And his baseline is everyone's garbage. And that's a gotcha. very funny position. Mm. So when he makes commentary about the world, I'm oftentimes laughing because I don't feel that way. Yeah. So I think there's always a good idea to have a couple pocket jokes mm. in your, in your wheelhouse yeah. of where you're from or what you look like yeah. or something and you can always make whip fun it of out. Yourself, kind of. Always make fun of yourself. Yeah. Your family, where you're yeah. from, Minnesota, nice. Yeah. So on socials I'm usually Wendy May on Instagram and all the things. And if you look on Facebook it's Wendy Comedy or Wendy Mayberry. It's M A Y B U R Y. And uh, yeah, follow me and come out to a show and definitely say hi. I like yes. to meet everybody. Awesome. Thanks for watching Trails and Tales where we interview interesting Minnesotans and explore amazing parts of our state. 
For more on Twin Cities Collective, head to our Facebook group or our website, TwinCitiesCollective.com. Come to some of our events and join our community. For more behind-the-scenes clips, make sure to follow us on TikTok and follow us on our social for more Trails and Tales and other series coming soon. We'll see you guys at the next event.